Demon Warp is a 1988 horror film directed by Emmett Alston and starring David Michael O'Neill, Pamela Gilbert, Billy Jacoby, Hank Stratton, Colleen McDermott, and George Kennedy. The film opens in space. Oh shit, something's coming. And we're now in the middle of nowhere where we find some clergy. I guess he discovered a fog machine? He goes to check it out and it's a hole maybe in some trees I guess. I don't fucking know. Wait, is that the Jarvis cabin? Yes it is. Inside Bill's playing a game of Trivial Pursuit with his daughter. It's been a long time since we were together. No thanks to your mother, so... Daddy... Somebody is bitter. Daddy... Huh? Your socks. Oh yeah, the, the mates to these had holes in them, so... Is he okay or is he a little... Did you hear that? Holy shit! That poor door is always getting torn down. Thanks, Pop. Man, that's gonna cause splinters. We are then introduced to a carload of kids that will probably be slaughtered during this film. Yeah, so Jack, you ever seen anything, you know, strange up here? How about murder in a hockey mask? They arrive at the cabin. Hey, 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 watch it, would ya? There is a lot of delicate shit back here. Oh, he's that guy. Jack, don't bother looking for the key. There's no door. <laughs> they haven't replaced the door? That boombox is pathetic. Well, this isn't a good sign. Well, at least they're packing heat. Who's this? Well, I, I was planning on giving you guys a little scare, but I don't know. That's a horrible idea. Now come on out of there, all of you. Gunfire! They find Bill and there's intros and exposition explaining that George Kennedy is hunting for whatever the hell took his daughter, and he warns them to leave. You'll, you'll get in that truck and get the hell out of here right now. This place is dangerous. They're not going to leave. Alright, look, I would have told you all of this a lot earlier, but I wasn't sure that you would come if you knew the whole story. And I do need your help. Carrie, you knew about this and you didn't tell me. You know you're a bit of an asshole for bullshitting your friends into this kind of danger. That night, Jack explains exactly why he asked them up to the cabin. Okay, look. It shows that people have been reporting weird and strange things up here for nearly 100 years, and now the phenomena is spreading out. Nothing, look, nothing has ever happened as far north as this cabin before. Later, Carrie delivers some sensual massage, some nudity, and then they get it on. Uh, there's no hot water. I can generate my own heat. Thank you. Oh, I bet you can. How do I look? Like shit. I love you too. You know, if she's already pissed off at you, pulling a prank on her may not be the best idea. Man, Jack is really going out of his way to not touch her boob. Hey, how's the prank going? <laughs> Bow's expected. Oh no, shadows. Yeah, well, I hope he takes his time. Me and you guys, there's something out here. Well, that's a swerve. I thought she was with the asshole that was pulling the prank. They replaced the door? And he's gone. It disabled the truck? Cindy freaks out and that looks secure. <laughs> Holy shit! Well, Tom sure lasted long. Why are you not shooting? Shoot it! It stole your fucking toaster! He's dead, Jim.
I guess it was nothing. The next day... Just point and pull. It's on safety right now. Cindy, how about you? Is that knife all right? Yeah, Cindy, you just get a knife. You suck. Should we just leave Tom's body in there? Why don't you carry it? Directly through the woods and hit the fire road. That thing is in the woods. I understand that. But look, the sightings have all been sporadic. The main road, the access road, that thing could be anywhere. Like in the woods. And they're on their way. Asshole in a Jeep alert. Oh boy, more victims. Jesus, Jack sure is trigger happy. And the stress turns into a full-blown argument. Fred was really strong, wasn't he, Jack? And what good did it do him? Where is he now, huh? Oh, you Where little bitch. Whoa! She's right. You gonna be okay? This whole thing is my fault. Yes, it is. Who the fuck is this guy? Oh yeah, another casualty. This pair is looking for weed that isn't there and decide to nude sunbathe in the woods where the sun isn't coming through the trees. Well, we came all this way. Might as well get a tan, right? What is it? What? It's a trap! Someone's going into one of those. And they're fucked! <laughs> Holy shit! And now it's after this guy? How do you plan to explain this when we get home, huh? Look, all we could do is just tell him the truth. Yeah, that'll work. Bigfoot killed my friends. There's cutting back and forth, and the film has become a bunch of dipshits wandering the woods. Is that fucking zombie? Anyway, it leaves. Shooting starts up again, and hey, it's George Kennedy on one of his three days of work on this film. But how do you want with me? Just a little information. You need a gun for that? No, I'll need the gun if I have to kill you, all right? Jack is an asshole! Jack, that's Tom's watch. I found it outside my camp. Bill's robbing the dead? How far's your camp from here? About a quarter of a mile. All right. After you, Mr. Crafton. Let's go. Why are you guys not trying to leave? And why are you so gung-ho on holding a gun on Bill? You know what the fuck did all this shit. Another trap! That guy has some real guts. Can anybody hear me? I'm lost! So are we. Foreshadowing! Jack, take it easy. We know he didn't kill Tom. Yeah, you walked out there for nothing. But I'm ready for it now. That's why I wear this yellow hat. To make it easier for it to see me. Because I've got traps all over the place. I just thought it was high fashion. They talk until the topless girl rudely interrupts. They calm her down, but the cab gets attacked with Jack getting knocked out. And Bill getting killed, I guess. Like I said, they only had George Kennedy for three days. Jack wakes up and everybody is gone, so he robs Bill. And I don't understand why he just doesn't shake down the corpse as well. He finds Cindy and oh shit, she's a zombie. He tails her to a cave. Now he'll fucking shoot. I, I just want to hurt you. <laughs> they made me. I guess it's his uncle? I don't know. Who fucking cares? These zombies don't appear to give a shit. <laughs> they kept Ted alive? She's alive, but I don't know for how long. This priest. From way back in the beginning, then Tom reappears and says some shit and ends up getting shot in the head. 
Sacred dagger is raised in trembling anticipation. As breath is law. What the hell is this? Oh, hear me, Azdrath, Lord. It looks like a pile of molded shit. Holy shit! And the pile of shit chows down. They bring everyone else in to play hearts where there's a struggle, and the priest ends up getting stabbed. Then Jack does this. We'll buy then. Oh my god, Cindy! Cindy! Get out of here! No! We can't leave her! Yes, you can. We can! We cannot leave her, Jack! Oh man, you guys are gonna have a discussion on the ride home. Explosives! What the hell is this bedroom in the void? Oh, it was a bad dream. Back to our lives, you know? <gasps> oh, it was another bad dream. Demon Warp doesn't know what it wants to be. Bigfoot, aliens, zombies, you get everything in this, and none of it makes sense. The majority of the film is running around the woods. The film effects by John Carl Beekler are okay for the budget, but he really showed what he was capable of the same year with Friday the 13th Part 7, because he had a hell of a lot more money to work with. The plot is pathetic and just keeps running out scenarios so we can just mow down the dead meat cast that's in it. Most of the acting is ridiculous, and the writing and direction are pretty uninspired. The thing is, Demon Warp had a really good feeling that first 20 minutes but it quickly descends into being a really bad flick of hell. Oh,